Hello, hello friends. I'm Nancy Thompson with createwithnancy.com and it's time for some creative ink. It's time to get crafty, um, creative. It's time to feel inspired and it's time to share these creations. So come on in, um, say hello. Uh, it is uh, Friday, March 8th already. Whoa. So um, let me know if you're new to my channel. I welcome you if you are. I hope you uh, hit that subscribe button and uh, and ring that bell so you get notified when the next uh, live presentation is, which is generally Wednesdays at 3 p.m. and Fridays at 3 p.m. Wednesday is usually a simple and easy card um, that I share with you. Uh, so, or maybe not a card, but some type of idea. So. Um, that you're gonna love. So it's easy whether you're a beginner stamper and you just wanna get started. It's um, generally a simple and easy card. And if you're a seasoned stamper, you need those quick um, cards um, when you're short on time, like I am all the time. Um, so you want those simple cards that really have a wow to them. So, um, and then Fridays, like today, is a little bit more advanced. Um, not necessarily advanced, but usually some type of fun fold or technique. So today we're doing a fun fold. Uh, we're using the new um, Flowering Zinnias designer paper. It's a new online exclusive that was just available this week. Um, and the stamp set is already um, unavailable. So um, so it's been that popular. That and the sequins are what are what is out. So you can't buy the whole sweet collection right now. The stamp set is expected to come back in on March 25th. And the sequins, which I'll show you in a minute. So let's get to the desktop and we can look at all this fun stuff, okay? So let's review what cards we did on Wednesday. So, um, hi Donna, welcome. Oh good, you are just in time to hear about product availability. But before I do that, I just wanna share these cards that we did on Wednesday. They were simple and easy. Um, this, the designer paper is doing all the work. We simply matted a piece of designer paper on some parakeet party and then uh, just added a, a half inch scrappy strip with a greeting on it and added some of that in color ribbon um, from Parakeet Party. So simple and easy. And then there's some sequins, okay? Now this one, this was really easy. It's a great way to use up scraps. We just tore off. Um, they were generally like a one inch, one and a quarter inch uh, strip of designer paper. So we just tore off the edge to create a, a raw edge and and you could do this with any designer paper all right and then here we use the die cuts okay we created all three of these cards on wednesday so make sure to go back and check the video out if you missed it um, this is using the dies and that is it and and added in um the scallop contour dies okay um i think that was it that was just my other this is one we actually did on live because i didn't quite space my designer paper apart very well okay so that was wednesday and now here is the stamp set right here simply zinnia and what's all in this um i just lost a sequence hang on uh on one of these cards which one here we go um sequins came off there we go yeah when you're applying sequins you really want to make sure you seat them on that they glue on really really well okay so the zinnias does have a coordinating die set and so you can create the bundle when you buy the two together you do save 10 percent so right now the dies are available but the stamp set is out of stock right now and the stamp set is expected to come back in on march 25th so watch for that date donna so you can order it then and right now the designer paper is in and what did i do with the sequins hang on here we go um so the designer paper is uh in but let's look at the designer paper okay so here is the designer paper we'll kind of quickly go through the different designs okay just really nice this one's we're going to use this one today i think yes we are Okay, the zinnias just look so real life. Um, they're just gorgeous. 
Here's this. I love using this one too. I love the colors on that. We've got some beautiful stems. These you can fussy cut out. They do not match any of the dies up, unfortunately. And hi, Kathy. It is a great. I meant to do some laundry today and get it outside, and I just didn't do it. Um, so let's look at the back. This is a the petal pink, pink with some dots, and then we've got some of that melon mambo. Excuse me. <coughs> My throat's getting dry. Pumpkin pie and this. This is meant to, that was the first card that I shared um, where we just created some a simple card with this. Um, you can effectively cut your designer paper so you could get six cards out of here. Sometimes more if you want a smaller little piece of it. So those are really fun. And then here's some old olive. And then, of course, this gorgeous grape right here. It's a plaid design. So that's our designer paper. That's part of the suite, okay? And then also part of the suite is this glimmer paper. This stuff is actually gorgeous. It's a, a white, a melon mambo, and I think it's old olive um, colors that are in it. Don't quote me, okay? Um so these are really fun. We're going to use some of this on a card today. We did this um, at my team meeting, and they loved using this stuff. And then what else is in this suite? So the suite, so as far as I know, the Glimmer is is current, is available. And then there's this embossing folder that goes with it as well. So it has all that Zimmery, Zinnia's um, design on it. So let me see if we can... If I do this, if you guys can see the design a little bit better. I need to emboss something. Maybe you can kind of see it like that. Um, maybe it'd be better without it. Let's see if that helps. Let me get this in the light just right. But you can check out the design in the, in the catalog or online, okay? You can see a really good picture online. And then finally are the sequins. This is what is holding up the whole collection too. And unfortunately, the sequins are going to be out of stock until, oh, what did I say? Um, till the end of April, I believe. So, uh, which are fabulous. But there are some alternatives you can use in the meantime if you really want to add some color to, um, to your card bases as well. Okay. All right, so that's about the product um, with the flowering zinnias, and these are all online exclusives. You cannot find them in any catalog, only online, and anybody can order them. And and everything's always while well, supplies last. So if it's really, and we never know if when it sells out, if it's coming back or not, but it seems like the sweet collections stay around, okay? Whereas um, just an individual stamp set, they might go away or, or something. So, okay. Hi, Nancy. And hi, Kathy. Welcome. And oh, good. I'm glad you caught me live. Um, okay. So let's get making this card, okay? So today's card. Um, so here's some of that designer paper that I kind of like. I just kind of like cut it apart. And then when I have time, I'll do some fussy cutting, okay? So, um, and then these are the pieces that are like, you could add and save and put on the inside of a card or, um, depending on what you're doing, you know, you could still use them. So don't throw them away. Okay. Um, so, okay. And this card will also be part of classes for the spring. Okay. It'll be a set of two cards. So you make, um, one of this design and I'll show you the other design when we're done. We're only going to do one. Okay, so we simply need a paper trimmer. Okay, um, we're going to start out. Let me move this. We're going to score it. Two score marks. That's it. And I'm pretty sure we have not done this fold before, but I, in the back of my mind, and I, I was looking through my notes, and I don't recall if I used some other set with it, so I'm not quite sure. Um, so hopefully this is a new fold for you. I'm calling it a Z book fo bookend fo fun fold, okay? So it's going to have the book and type fold with a Z in it, okay? So so our, we're going to start with a four and a quarter by 11 inch piece of Lemon Lolly cardstock. And I love this color. I've started to use it more with this um, designer paper because there's so much in it. So we're simply going to score it two and one eighth and then just slide it down to four and a quarter. Okay. 
that's it. That is our measurement, right? Is that right? Oh, one more. And then five and a half. Okay, three score marks. I forgot about that because we need that half inch. We need to create that book fold. Okay. All right, so we've got two and an eighth, four and a quarter, and five and a half. That is it. So we can set that aside and let's burnish these score marks. So many, I gotta clean my bone folders. <laughs> There's so much glue on them. Um, I keep forgetting to do that. And so if you love what you're seeing, make sure you head over to my website at createwithnancy.com and make sure you um, subscribe to my newsletter so you can get, um, this could be a Creative Ink Library um, PDF. I'm not, I think I can figure it out so I can um, show, show you. Some of them are hard to put like into a PDF. So we're going to fold on all the score lines. This one's going to get folded back. Okay. And then, um, let me see here. Yeah, this one's going to get folded back as well. All right. All right. Yes. Okay. So this is what's going to create our Z. All right. So, so let's, um, let me just burnish this. Let's add some glue. So we're going to put some adhesive, some liquid glue right here in this one, this small channel right here between the five and a half and four and a quarter inch score lines. So let's add some liquid glue here and I keep forgetting to refill this. So let's do this right here. Okay, so we're going to just fold this, glue that together. So this creates our book fold, right? Right there. And let me, um, let me zoom in a little bit. I kind of left it zoomed out. So, um, so when we were trimming, doing, using the paper trimmer, so there's our book fold. And then this is going to get folded in half. And we're going to add a piece of cardstock to this, I think. What are we going to do first? Let me, I guess we're going to decorate the inside. So we're going to just, um, I think we're going to do this first. We're going to put our piece of designer paper here. This is a, I wrote the measurements down so I could tell you guys. Um, this is one and a quarter inches by four inches. So let's add this to this. Okay. I guess the reason why we want to decorate the inside. So when we put the front piece on, um, we're going to make sure that the inside is not going to show. All right. So let's do that. All right. And then we will just kind of butt this up against here. All right. So that way I always do this one first. So I make sure I don't really overlap it. Okay. Oh, I feel like I got a sneeze. Excuse me, guys. Okay, so we're going to just simply add our piece of basic white. Yeah, I didn't measure this piece for you all. Um, so it's two and three quarter inches um, wide by four inches tall, okay? All right, we're getting closer. Now we can add this piece of lemon lolly right here, okay? So this is uh, three and a quarter by four and a quarter piece of cardstock. So this is where we want to make sure we're just going to, um, let's see, how did I do this? Let me just make sure. I just am pretty much kind of centering it. Um, you know, so you want to make sure it just kind of overlaps. You don't see the white, all right? You don't want the, that white piece showing, but I just kind of want that. So we're going to add our adhesive on this part right here on our this one flap. So let's do this. And as it comes together, you're going to see the Z here in just a minute, okay? There we go. You just want to kind of hold that down. And you want it um, level from top to bottom. Hopefully I cut this right looks like it's off. How did I get that so far off? Hmm. 
I might have to do a little trimming. Yikes. Look at, look at my poor cutting there. Maybe I didn't cut this piece correctly. Yeah, it's off just a hair. Hmm. Oh, well. We will trim it up. In fact, let's do that right now. This is going to drive me nuts. Okay, so we're going to just bring it in here. And I'm going to trim it off this side. So let's just pop it in here. And let's even that up. Okay, that looks better. It's a little short up there, but, you know, it's totally fine. We're going to go with it. So just pay attention as you're creating, okay? And I got a little bit of glue there. But that looks so much better, all right? So you want it even here and even down here. So we're simply going to put a 3 by 4 inch piece of designer paper. So that's a great way to... Um, to effectively cut your paper, you can get 12 pieces out of your piece of 12 by 12, which is really nice. That are three by four. Did I do that right? Yeah, 12 pieces of this designer paper. Okay, and I just, I love this zinnia. Such bright, happy colors. Okay, all right, we've got that. And now we're going to pull in, um, let's just, let's decorate this. We're going to add this piece of one inch, one by four inch glimmer paper right here. Okay. And definitely use a strong adhesive when you're adhering glimmer paper because it's just, it's heavy and you just really want to um, make sure you're using some strong adhesive. And liquid glue always um, is really, really strong. Okay, see how this is looking? Isn't that just the sparkle? I love the sparkle about it. Okay, I've already pre-stamped my, my greeting, but I want to show these are also part of the online exclusives. These are called Happy Little, thing, Little Things Dies, okay? It's a set of two dies in here, and I love these. Um, they are perfect, but they are currently unavailable right now, um, and we'll be back in stock, so... But they make great little tiny labels, and there's some great um, uh, ideas online with them as well. So, okay, so we're just going to use some mini, mini dimensionals for this. So I'm going to use this one here. So let's add some mini dimensionals. And I'm going to use quite a few going across here, four of them, because I want to make sure it, it um, stands up well. Okay, so what do you think about this fun fold? Wasn't that easy? And tell me if I've done it before because I, I'm pretty sure I haven't because it's not in my notes. Okay, so we're going to just add this right down here on the bottom, right? So here's, this is the bookend, right? This is the bookend. It opens like a book card, but we added this Z fold. So can you see the Z now? Dun, dun, dun. Right? So that's what they call a Z fold. All right. It's just a nice interactive type card. So we're going to add another panel of designer paper, and this is a great way to use up your designer paper as well. Um, showcase that paper and, you know, just so you would have to pick at least three coordinating uh, designs or not, you know, just depends. You just want them all to complement each other. All right, which way is the stem going? And this is a great shelf card, you know, one that will stand up on the shelf for display as well. You know, it'll d display like that so people can see it. So it's really good. All right, so that's just gonna go there. This is, um, Let's see, what is the side? Um, ba -bum -bum. Um, did I measure that? Uh, inside, right? One and a quarter, I believe. Maybe not. No, one and seven eighths. I didn't write that down. It's one and seven eighths by four inches. Okay, let's tie a bow. We're going to just add a um, black baker's twine uh, bow to this. So let's just tie a simple bow to our card here and we will be almost done we got to decorate an envelope 
Okay, grab an ooh dot. Just kind of roll it up a little bit so it doesn't show. Just add it here on the end. And give it a little trim. There we go. And then let's add a little bling, okay? So if if you can't order it, um, the sequence, here are these, uh, they're just called adhesive back solid gems. And they have this lemon lolly in here, which is really cool. And then this is, uh, I think, pecan pie and probably maybe boho or balmy blue. I'm not quite sure. So, oh, good, Donna. I'm glad you love it. So it's a great card when you get that suite of product for you to create and make. Um, so don't forget about getting some of this glimmer paper as well because it just really um, sets off your cards, I think. Um, there's lots of great ideas to use that glimmer with. It's so bright and happy. So let's just add some of these Lemon Lally um, gems here. Okay, uh, let's just put one down here and then we'll just do another little one right up there. And there we've got it. So you can come and make one of these, uh, two of these. I'll show you the other one in just a minute, but let's finish our envelope flap here. Okay, we'll quickly add some um, glue to this and give it a little haircut. Okay, I love using the liquid glue, but you could use seal on here as well. Okay, I gotta remember to clean my tip off and cover it back up so it doesn't dry out on me. And we'll just add this. I just bump it up to that fold line there. And we'll just give this a little trim here. So next week I have really, I think I'm I think I've got it planned out what we're gonna do. A really some really cool fun techniques next week, too. So you're gonna want to make sure to come in and chime in. Come and um, tune in for that. All right, what do you think? Let's look at the other color scheme um, that I created. Actually, they, it all looks so different because of the flower. So here's the one with Melon Mumbo Glimmer right there in that different uh, green envelope, but it's done the same way, okay? And I just fussy cut my flower image there and added my greeting there. I think it complements the, the, the less busy background works good um, when you do this. This has enough going on. All you need to do is add um, a greeting to it. So, so here, let's look at these other ones. So by just adding the different flowers on these, um, just gives them, I think, a total different look. This one I did, this was the first one I made, but I wanted to make sure I was using the two shades of glimmer paper well so um so I switched over to the mambo for that one so all right by just changing your flower there gives it a totally different look and they're just all beautiful okay I hope you've enjoyed this so if you love to order some product there's my March host code I got it changed everybody um, go check that out um, and use the host code when you're ordering for a free thank you gift for me. Um, what was it? It was the, um, it'll be a pack of cards with the perennial lavender. It's all the information is in my newsletter. So um, that's another um, great idea for, so you can see what the thank you gift is. It's in my newsletter. Um, and I guess that's it. If you have questions, don't hesitate to message me to let me know. Um, if you need something or have questions on whatever, because I so appreciate you and I want to be of service to you. And, and I would be honored to be your demonstrator as well if you are totally new to me. So, um, don't be, don't forget to sign up for an upcoming class. Um, there are there's mostly Thursdays and there is a Friday in there and hopefully when I do the next newsletter, if I have any new dates, I will be adding them as well, okay? All right, have a great weekend. I have my team meeting this weekend. I'm excited for that um, because I always love showing them some stuff first and then in another week or a couple weeks, I might be able to have some new stuff to show you. So because the new 
annual catalog comes out at the beginning of May and uh, demonstrators will be able to order some stuff soon in a few more weeks. So anyways, have a great weekend and thank you for joining in and we will see you soon. Thanks so much. Bye bye.